Good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. God bless you. It is another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Thank you all for allowing me once again this Sunday to come into your home. It's a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Let's just start to invite our family and friends. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let's invite, let's share, so that when we go into the topic today, we will not be distracted. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Start inviting your family and friends. Because when we go into the topic, we will not have that time to invite people anymore. Hallelujah. Let's invite people. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you all. God bless you all. Today is another day. Today is another day. You are going to be blessed today. You are going to be so blessed today. Hallelujah. You know, the topic today, sometimes I just ask myself these questions. Oh, Lord, what do you have for your children? Where are you taking your children to? Hallelujah. So, today is a day. Get ready. Don't just come in and go out. God has something special for you. God wants you to know something today. Today, God really wants you to know something. For yourself, for yourself, this journey of life is for yourself. This journey of life is not for group, it's for yourself, for yourself. Today, you're going to be blessed. Blessed Sunday, my brothers and sisters. Sister Bella, mm, that is one angelic voice. We are going to invite Sister Bella one day to this group. When Sister Bella sings, I... You know, you remember when David was playing, you know, demons were flying off. That is when she sings. I, Whenever I listen to her sing, the anointing is so powerful. Stabella, get yourself ready. We are going to invite you one of these Sundays for you to bless us. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister May, my beautiful, blessed sister, daughter, whatever I have to call you. God bless you. God bless you, my darling husband. God bless you, Brother Friday. God bless you. Let us pray. Let us pray. So we're going to worship. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you the praise, the honor, adoration. Omnipotent, omniscience, God, omnipresence. I have no power of my own. I bring this page before you today that you should come and have your way. Father, now God, whatever you have given me to speak, anything that comes out of me that I have written, may I not speak it. May I speak only the utterances that the Lord has given me. Father, you say today that your children will be blessed. They will be set free. That whatever the enemy is orchestrating against them, Father, now God, you said you will uproot it from their life. Father, now God, may their mind be like a fettered ground that will receive this seed and the seed will start to germinate in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for those that are always supporting. I thank you for those that are sharing and those that are going to share. Father, we give you the praise. The adoration. Have your way today in the midst of your children. Hallelujah. Let's just go into worship. Hallelujah. Yeah, he said, Jesus, I can in any way. It's mercy. Hallelujah. Just listen, worship with me. Don't just come in and go. Worship with me. Worship with me. Today you are going to be so blessed. Oh, my daddy, God bless you, Pastor Titus. God bless you. Oh, oh, Pastor EC, God bless you. Let's go into worship. Today, don't just come in and go. God has something for your ministry. God has something for your family. Mm. What have you not done for me, oh? I'm grateful. What have you not done for me? What have you not done for me? I can imagine all you went through just for me. On the cross of Calvary, what he went through for us. Done for me. Hmm. Where would I be without you? Where would I be without you? Where would I be without you? There's no me without you. Hmm. Where would I be without you? Yes, Lord, where would I be without you? Where would I be without you? 
We don't wanna be without you. Just no me without you, Jesus. I can't in any way. Jesus, if there any love that I Jesus, I can't in any way. Jesus, if there any love that I I can't I can't remember For all you have done for me He can any love What have you not done? What have you not done for me? Father, have your way today in the midst of your children Father, I empty myself before you. More of you, more of you, more of you. Is a bit my being, O Lord, my God. Take over my mind. Take over my thought, my speech, my hand. The way I see, the way I talk. Take it over, Lord. Strength fail me. Friends and family turn their backs on me. Lord, you stood for me. You never let me down. Remember, remember. Strength me. Friends and family. Turn your back on me. Lord, you stood by me. You never let me down. Jesus. Jesus. I can't in any way. Jesus. He said, Jesus, he said, my old strength fail me. Our old strength come to the point that it fails us. Hallelujah. But glory be to God that we have a God. Today, we are just going to tell God to take, take over this stage. God, I just welcome God to take over this stage. He is going to take over this place right now. Empty your take heart. The stage, Lord. Take this stage. Take this page, Lord. And have, have your way. way. I'm just a vessel, nothing more. When you are done, oh yes, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. That's all I wish, Lord. Take this page, Lord, and have your way. I'm just, I'm just your vessel, Lord, and nothing more. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied. To see you glorified. Take this page, Lord, and ha have your way. I am your vessel, oh, nothing more. When you are done, Lord, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Father, take my mouth, take my eyes, take my hand. Father, now God, take my will, O oh Lord. Father, now God, confirm it to yours. Father, everyone that is going to listen, take their eyes, take their mind. Let it be on you alone. Father, we thank you. We bless you. The song is not just living my spirit. Take this page, Lord, and have your way. I am just a vessel, oh, nothing more. When you are done, oh, with me, Lord, please take the glory. Hmm. I'm satisfied 
just to see you glorified. Man, I'm a 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 Oh, you've been good, you've been good, son of God. Oh, you've been good. Oh, you've been good, daddy, Ma. You've been good, son of God. I say you've been good. You are not a man to lie. Oh, what you say you do in our lives, you will surely do it, Lord. Surely do it, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Whoa. Incredible are you, Lord. I have I have never seen a God faithful as you are. I just want to go into the word of God. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Star Christy, Star Charity. God bless you. Anita, God bless you. God bless you all. Ooh, Father, thank you. Father, take over my emotion, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. God bless you all. Invite your family and friends. Our topic today says, keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eye on the goal. I have another sister in the house. Sister Adina also. I'm going to welcome you and Sister Bella one day. You people are going to really bless us with your songs in this page. You know, I can, I'm going to use video to invite you people. Okay, get yourself ready. My brothers and sisters, the topic today is keep your eyes on the prize. Be focused on the goal. Be focused on the goal. My brothers and my beloved brothers and sisters, God has a prize for every one of us. Every one of us in this race of Christianity. Excuse me. At the end, there is a prize for you. Jerry, I'm telling you, there is a price for you. The race you are running, other people are running with you. Don't forget that. Don't forget. And when you run the race and get to the finish line, you will be given the crown, the price that you have run for. Yes. This race of Christianity that you are run, running this destiny that God has called you into, that you are running. When you run and you get to the finish line, you will receive your crown. You will be blessed. Hallelujah. But don't forget, you are not the only one on the race. Mm -hmm. Don't forget this race of life. You are not the one running it. You are not the only one on the race, on the track. You are not the only one running it. Different kind of people from different kind of world, they are on the track with you. Just like the runners in the Olympic. There are different kind of people and different kind of country on the track feed. Hoping to get to the finish line. Yes. Every one of us is hoping to get to the finish line. So you need to have this mindset. I am not the only one in this race. Other people are in this race with me. Today you are going to get understanding that the destiny of your life you need to run it and keep your eyes focused. Mm -hmm. You got to keep your eyes focused. It doesn't matter what is happening around you. Tell yourself, 
I will run this race till the end. I will run it to the end. In the book of Philippians 3, let's go there. The book of Philippians 3. Sometimes I try to use the, the other amplifier. Sometimes it's just delaying me. Uh, Sister Tracy, you can write it out. I always tell you, write it out so that it's easier for me. Hallelujah. Philippians 3, verse 14. Remember this race you are running. Yes, go there. Philippians 3, 14. Don't just come in and go away. God has something for you. I'm trying to use, I always like to use Amplify sometimes. Three. Hallelujah. Just be patient with me. Thierry 14 says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me. Heavenly word in Christ. This is easy to read version. He said, I press on. I am going. I am running. It doesn't matter. I am going towards this goal. And I will get to the end. You will get to the end of the race of life that God has called you to run in this life. It is not easy. But remember, the Bible says that he has given us his yoke to carry. We should carry his own because his own is very easy. If you carry the yoke yourself, you will fall along the way. Glory be to God. This is your destiny that you are running. This is your destiny. Not only you is in the track that is running this race. But also remember, there are obstacles on the way waiting to keep you from getting to the end of the line there are so many walls of jericho in our journey of life but must we must be determined to press on for our prize listen again there are so many walls of Jericho in your journey, in your destiny of life. But you must be determined to press on for your prize. Yes, you must be determined to press on for your prize. The prize, the goal the, that you are run. Oh my God. If they said you are going to win one billion socially, we will receive it in Jesus' name. We are winning one billion. Hallelujah. Yes, somebody here, go, you are going to win very soon. You are going to win. It's for somebody. Take it for yourself. You are going to win billion. I don't know how much billion. So it is not left for you to say 10 billion. Hallelujah. I'm going to win 10 billion. Hallelujah. This race of life, my God. It is not a smooth one. Remember, when Christ came, mm, I was listening to uh, uh, Apostle uh, Nusa. He said, my God, in 30 years of Jesus' life, yeah, he was seen as what? The competent son. That is how people saw him. He was a capital son. But nobody know that he carried God and he himself was God. Mm -hmm. This destiny of yours and this race that you are running, my sister, my brother, let your eye be on the prize. doesn't matter. The more you press on, the more the enemy also is pressing on. You got to remember that. You need to remember that. Yes. You have to remember that. When you are running this race. Yeah. Other people are running also. In the midst of the people that are running. 
So can be your supporters. So can be your opposition. Oh my God. So can be your opposition. Why so can be your killer? Yes. They will say, mm, let her fall. Let him fall. And we say, we said it so. Some will say, oh, let me do better than her. Let me do better than him. I can do that part that she's doing better or he better. Mm, it's an opposition. The rays of life that your creator have called you to run. You are not the only one. The very day your assignment was written. That go. I have called you. Go. Let your eye be on the go. The enemy also have assigned people to stop you. Mm -hmm. He has assigned his agents to make you lose focus. Makara, ba, 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 ba. Father, have your way, have your way. When you are on assignment for God, the enemy also pick an assignment against you. Oh, glory. Write it. When you are on assignment for God, the enemy also has picked an assignment against you. This race that you are running, this journey of life that you are running, that God has sent you into this world, it might be to be a breadwinner of the home. The enemy will raise an agent against you that will also be against you that you will not provide for your home. It might be to have a ministry. The very day you decide to do that, the enemy also have a sign against you. Is it to get married and have your family? The enemy also have a sign against you. This race that you are running on earth, my brother, my sister, don't take it for granted. Today you will understand some certain things. I tell myself, I do not speak of myself. Anything I have written down of me, Father, take it away. Today, God is going to have your way. I tell you, so many of my brothers and sisters call me, they are testifying. And then I ask myself, who am I? Who am I? I'm not saying it for you to think I have become like this. I am just like you, me and you joining our faith to pray. I believe in prayer. I believe in joint prayer. And whatever God put in my mind, put in my spirit to do, that is what I will do. I remember a few years ago, I always used myself as an example. The destiny of your life, my God, I assigned other people to bring you to it or those to bring you out of it. Other people to come and do their job. When they finish, they will pack. Mm-hmm. This journey of life. Because don't forget, when God assigned you for this journey, yeah, the devil also have assigned his own agent. My brothers and my sisters, let nobody tap you out of your grace, out of your glory. Let nobody tap you out of your whatever God has laid in your heart to do. Mm. You know why? Because the race that you are running, when you get to the end, your blessings, people will say, wow. Yes, they will say, wow to you. Your race that you are running, the devil also have assigned his agent to make sure you don't run that race. Yes. The very day God called you. You know, I always say not everybody is going to be preacher. Some are evangelists just to share the word of God. Some are encourager. When we get to that point, I said, when you are on assignment for God, the enemy also have picked an assignment against you. Because he knows he is in trouble. He knows all his trick will be exposed. Because you will come to that part of you as you let yourself go for God. He speaks to you and he will show you the tricks of the enemy. And you will see them manifesting. 
they will manifest before your front, your very eye. The enemy will do anything possible for you not to see the manifestation of his trick. Yes. He will do anything to stop you so that his trick will not be exposed. So he will do anything or use anyone to stop your destiny or distract you. First Corinthians 16 9 says, First Corinthians 16 9 says, For a great and effective door has been opened to me, to you, and there are many adversaries, many oppositions. My brothers and my sisters, get yourself ready. I always say this is the year of justification that God wants to justify his children. He wants to do it for you. Because it is your year and God wants to do great things in your life, the enemy is setting up his plan against you also. He will do anything to make sure, oh my God, that you don't get to that race. But the race at the end, hmm, you remember, there was an assignment for Joseph. Mm -hmm. You know, Joseph was also a talkative. There are some of us, we talk. It doesn't mean we are boast of it, but we talk because we know what God is taking, where God is taking us to. You say, oh, I saw this. God used me to do this. Let me tell you, not everybody wants to hear you. People are jealous of it and they are against it. And the devil is angry because you said it. Now he knows people are hearing you. Mm -hmm. and he will do anything to stop it your journey of life the race that you are running to get to the goal other people are on the race oh. yes spiritually, physically they are on the race oh my god, God bless you God bless you he said press on he said he said for a great door. God said, I have opened a great door for you to go. You are going, but you are going to get to that great door. Because when you open the great door and enter, that is when your blessings, you can be able to affect and affect people around you. Yes. If you have not shared, share. You know what I, somebody, I was praying last time. I hear in my spirit. When you share, it's not about you want people to come and watch. Let people be blessed and be broken from the bondage that the enemy has put them. Don't say, am I the one? Who am I to come and share this woman? Mm -mm. I tell you, I come here, I don't come here of myself. Left for me, I am a shy person. Yes, I am. But I will do the will of my father. <laughs> few years ago it was my birthday most of my friends they will, they will know this they will remember it was my birthday I was preparing for my birthday I said oh, I'm going to celebrate my birthday you know I was just arranging it some of them were asking what do you want to do what do you want to do I said I'm going to celebrate I'm going to celebrate the Lord told me he said let there be no man on your birthday call the women Join your faith. Let them pray for you. And they did. They prayed. But I tell you one thing. God will put her past in your path. When he finish what he is doing, hmm, he will ask the her past, stay aside. I have more things to do. I have more goals for this, my child, to accomplish. That is you. It doesn't matter where God has taken you from, where you are. You don't even know where you are going yet. But you need to come to find that the destiny God has for you, my sister, my brother. The race that you are running. The enemy has also assigned people to run against you. But they will not succeed. I said, the Bible said, a great door. This is the point I'm bringing out. A great door has been opened for you. A great door has been opened for you. Which means a great destiny is ahead of you. Which God has planned for you. And the enemy are so scared 
because they know what you carry. No, no man after the flesh. No, no situation after the flesh. Whatever is happened physically has happened spiritually. I'm telling you, the devil is a liar. But you have to come to the point and understand that the times we are, God did not just shut the whole world because he wants us to be indoors. He shut it for we, his children, to understand the time we are. This is the seventh month. Understand the time that you are. Understand the time God is taking you. Hallelujah. It says the doors that has been opened are effective. That is what the Bible said. It said a great and effective door has been opened. The doors, which means you will use those effective doors for others. Help others. That, that is why God is telling you the doors that is opening for you are effective. You will use it to affect others. You will use it to be a blessing to others. You will use it to bring others to know him, Christ. And the enemy is also very angry. And he's opposing your destiny. But there he has failed. Because whenever the enemy plans, God exposes. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, this is the reason why you must keep your eye on the prize. Tell yourself, I must get to the finish line. Write it up boldly. <laughs> I must get to the finish line. I must get to the finish line. Each and every one of you watching, you must get to your finish line. No man born of woman can stop or twant with what God has planned for you. Your destiny you must get there. Mm -hmm. You will win order for Christ. Your win is another person's stepping stone. When you win, another is another person's stepping stone. Because your winning is going to make another person have that courage to say, oh, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to do the will of God. If my brother or my sister can do it, I can do it. Your win is going to affect others and it's going to draw others to your Father in heaven. Many people need to be bettered through you. Many people need to come through you to come and know God because it's part of your destiny. Yes. It's part of your destiny that through you, somebody will come and know your God. Somebody will come and know your maker. Through you, many will be encouraged, healed, delivered, and blessed. So you must have to carry that great door to the finish line. You have to. If God has called you into ministry, you can run, 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 run. But you cannot hide. One day is one day. God, God, we, we, we do his thing. What is avastris? Avastris means oppositions. Someone or group of people or in a contest, conflict, in politics, you have politician opposition. Politician opponent. But in your destiny of life, you have spiritual and physical opponent that we, that we want to make sure you give up on your destiny. It's both ways. It's physical and spiritual. Me, I always say, I know nothing after the flesh. Nothing. Hallelujah. These are the war of Jericho's in your life. You see all these oppositions, they are wars of Jericho. War of Jericho 
that was that that the Joshua fought in the Bible. We are still fighting it. Oh, don't give up. Don't relent. No, no situation. No, no one after the flesh. I tell you, we are still fighting the wars of Jericho in our life. There are wars of Jericho in our life, and you need to praise them out of your life. Yes, I said praise them out of your life. The wars of Jericho, it is only praise. You, you used to praise them. You have prayed, you have done a lot of things, but now stop praising and praising them out of your life. Praise the wars of Jericho out of your life. I don't know. I don't care. I don't, I don't know what you're going through right now. That seems there is no way out. Praise it out of your life. I don't know who have disappointed you and make you feel that, oh, you can never make it. Oh, praise it out of your life. I don't know that business that you have done that they've, they don't want to pay you your money. Praise it out of your life so that they, when you start praising God, God will start fighting them and they will be looking for you to pay you your money. That lock up that they have locked up your destiny, praise it out of your life. Hallelujah. If you are receiving it, let me hear somebody say, Amen. God bless you. Yes. The words of Jericho, yes, you need to praise them out of your life. The Bible says in the book of Joshua, we, th that is where I really want us to stay in. The book of Joshua. Let's go there together. Oh, hallelujah. If you are receiving it, let me see some thumbs up. God bless you all. God bless you all. Let's go to the book of Joshua. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Hallelujah. We are going to first, we are going to read different parts of Joshua. Joshua, Joshua 6, verse 1 to 5. Let's do that one first. Joshua 6, 1 to 5. It says, now, the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went in, no one came out. The Jerichos in your life, the walls of Jericho, the obstacles in your life, that no one can come in, no one can go out. No blessing is going to come in and no blessing is going to come out. God is going to break them down. Through your praise, me and you will agree. I believe in prayer of agreement. I don't say, oh, this one is not spiritually fit. Who told you? Who told you? If you say this one is not spiritually fit and you are looking for the one that is spiritual, that one that you are saying is not, you commonize that that person is not spiritually fit. You don't know the grace that is upon the life of that person. You know, there are some people when they open their mouth to say, oh, father, the door will be open. Why are there some of us? You will pray, Shaka Babri, you even at it, it will remain. Ti, ti, ti. You know why? Because of the foundation where we are coming from. The Bible said, when the foundation is bad, what will the righteous do? You will keep on tilling and breaking. But God is telling you this month, the seventh month, the seventh, this is where the, this part is going. The seventh month, this seventh month of your life, of this year, I mean, hmm? you are going to praise yourself. Praise all the Jericho walls to be broken. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now the gates of Jericho were securely barren because of the Israelites. No one went in and no one came out. Then the Lord said to Joshua, see, I have delivered Jericho, God is telling you, he has delivered your problem into your hands. I have delivered Jericho, the words that is blocking your blessings. God has delivered that thing into your hand. I have delivered it into your hands. Along with it, the king and its men fighting. Hallelujah. The, 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 the devil and his agent and his cohorts, God is telling you, he has delivered them into your hands. Hallelujah. He said, Tiri, march around the city once with all the men. With all the armed men, do this for six days. Hallelujah. And see seven priests carry the trumpet of the rams of horns in the front of the ark. And on the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpet. When you hear the, the, their sound, sound along the blast, 
on the trumpet, have the whole army give a last shot. Then the walls of the city will collapse and the army will go up, everyone in it. Yes, that is what God is telling you. It is time for the Jericho's wall that is around you to be broken. They need to be broken. Hallelujah. He said, listen, from the first day, the Lord sent Joshua. He said, march around. Only to march around the sixth time. Sixth time. Seven times he sent them to march. He said, but the sixth time, he said, march around the, the city. Don't do anything. All you need to do is to march around around it all but the seventh day this is where i want you to get verse 15 and 16 listen verse 15 and 16 says on the seventh day after they have marched for six days all they do imagine you are going to a war all you need to do is to get to the front of the people that are fighting you the, the, the enemy, the camp of the enemy, you march around and you go away. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times. The same manner they have been doing it, except that on that seventh day, they circle the city seven times. Glory be to God. For six days, they march around the city one time. Round, they will go. Round, six times they will go. But the seventh day, God said, march around the city. Circle it seven times again on that seventh day. And listen, they march around the city and circle the Circle the city seven times. The seventh time around of marching around it. When the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. Hallelujah. God said in the book of First Corinthians, where we read, He said, a great, First Corinthians 16, 9, He said, I have opened a great door for you. Mm -hmm. He said, but there are many opposition. That is why I said, the destiny of your life, this destiny, this race of life that you are running, the enemy also have assigned his agents. Yes. To make sure you don't get to that destiny. No, no situation after the flesh. No, no man, no woman after the flesh. Hallelujah. He said, they march around the city seven times. On the seventh time, they circled it and the city sank. The angels, pam. It's like you have something like, like this. Yeah? What do I use now? Mm -hmm. Let me take this tissue for example. This is it. God asks you to march around it. You march around it. The seventh day, which is this, listen, this is the seventh month of this year. You have marched for six months. Yes. You have marched this year for six months. This seventh month is your month of praise. Come to this point. He said, when they march around the seventh and circle, the seventh day, the angel of the God came and pressed the city down, sank the city. Angel Michael was present. Angel Gabriel was present. The whole host of heaven. They press it down. It is your seventh month this year. Yes. Do not look around you. What you carry, somebody is praying for that to carry it from you. Yes. Somebody wished it is them that is not you. But let me tell you, God said I should tell you, this month of the seventh month, it's your month that you start to praise God. Whether you have it or you don't have it, praise God. Because all the enemy assigned, that the devil has assigned for your destiny not to come, God 
is pressing them down this month in the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, I owe my words not. You know, somebody told me, said, Ojo, bridle your mouth. What you speak happens. And I believe it. I know it since I was young. There are things that I've spoken. I see them coming to pass. There are things I've seen. I see them coming to pass. I become afraid. I become afraid for the devil. You know why? The Bible says, touch no my anointed and do my prophets no harm. It's your mouth this year. This month is your month. Press the city down. Press the agent down. Hallelujah. He said they circled around it. Hallelujah. Believers, men and women of God, this is a message for you. Brother and sister, this is a message for you. Whenever anyone comes to you, comes to your life, comes to your church, comes to have, be a friend with you, hallelujah, you are supposed to pray and ask God, who is this person? Because some are helpers of your destiny, why some are destroyers? He said, among all these folks, some are sheep, some are goats, some are lions, some are Lifter, some are financial supporter, some are encourager, some are, some are snakes. Yes. So, but this is your mot, this mot that you are, the mot, the seventh mot of this year, God is telling you, raise a praise that the Jericho's, the walls of Jericho in your life will be broken. You know, Somebody tell me, he said, sis, the Lord said I should support you in any way I can support you. By prayer, by broadcasting your ministry, he showed me who you are. I said, thank you. Nowadays, I am coming to a point to know who I am. I am becoming more afraid of my maker. Not that he want to do something, but that he, he says a thing and it come to pass. It shocked me. Yes. I see some circumstances. I see things happening. I see God doing some wonders, even in other people's life. Out of the blue, I'm, it can just be laid in my heart. Call so so person. Pray with so so person. Encourage this person. People are having it difficult. The devil is fighting a lot of people. Be a destiny helper. Because when you need a destiny helper, God will put it there. You have to. You need to find out what, why, I, I, why am I in this relationship? Why I, am I in this my husband's or my wife's life? Why am I in this ministry? Hallelujah. Why did God bring me into this family? God, your destiny, hmm? your destiny is so important. It's so important. Because you carry, you carry God. The devil also has a sign. No, it's a sign. No, no situation after the flesh. Sometimes you can look at people. Oh, is this? Mm -mm -mm, forget those people. The devil, the devil. He know what you carry. Is the devil. He knows your, he know what you carry. The devil will do anything for you not to run that race to finish it. Mm -hmm. Lift someone up. So that when you need the lifting, you will be lifted up. <laughs> my brothers and my sisters, let your focus, your focus, keep your eye on the prize that when I finish, my father in heaven will say, Glory, you clap for me that my daughter, my son, you've done well. 
When you allow other people to shine, you are the one shining. Mm -hmm. Because when the light shines so much on that person, it will shine on you. There is no way out. It must shine on you. I always tell people here that everybody coming here, I need your prayer. Keep praying for the group. Keep praying for my husband. Keep praying for my sister. Keep praying for us that God will use us for what he wants to use us for. When you pray somebody into their destiny, you are equally praying yourself into that destiny. <laughs> Don't allow the devil. Don't allow oh, what you think. Oh, if I leave this person up, they will see this person more. They will not see me. That mindset, clean it. Tell God to cleanse you from that mindset. If I'm speaking to you, God wants you to repent. Because you don't know the grace. You don't know what that person carries. You know, last time I called my brother, I was talking to my brother. I said, brother, thank you. Apart from being, you know, even though we are not the same father, the same mother, you were able to talk to me about some certain things. My dearly sister, I don't want you to go on this path. I don't see this path being good for you. It's not going to be good for you. I can easily say, oh, you see, they don't want me to get married. They don't want me to. He spoke to me. And I pick it. That's why I always say, Brother John, you are my twin from another mother. He does not see me as an outsider. He sees me as we are from the same loins. Help us of your destiny. We not miss you. Help, when we talk about help us of destiny, it's not only in ministry. Please get it right. Help us of your destiny can be to encourage you to pray with you that you you know maybe you are almost letting it go your mind is going pam but god will cause somebody to call you and you say oh my god thank you for this person calling me my brothers and my sister if you have not been serious about praying for destiny helper please please Change your matter. If you have not been praying for anybody that you see the God is using the person, keep praying for the person though because your destiny also lies to that part. Yes, you got to come to that point to find that. God bless you all. God bless you all. You know, my brothers and sisters in this group, God bless you all. It is because of you that I'm always standing here. You know why? Because the Bible tells me, iron sharpens iron. You sharpen me, I sharpen you. Every word you speak to me, I write it down. I write it down. So if you have been blessed by this preaching, let me see some thumbs up. And please, we have a YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. And also, I'm, I've prayed and I'm really trying to open, uh, be doing another service every Wednesday. So I'm praying that I will be able to, first of all, before we do that, that I will do a Zoom group whereby we all come together and pray. I'm, I'm, I'm planning that. So if you are interested, send me. Send me a message on the, on the um, Facebook. Send me that message so that we create that. All we are going to do is to be praying that, Father, bring the helpers of our destiny to our path. Because when I help somebody, I am helping myself. I was talking to one of my, 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 my beautiful daughter in Germany. She said, he said, sis, I see a sister in you. He said, sis, I have known you for almost nine, ten years. I met her in uh, Belgium a few years, long time ago. But at once in a while, it just lay in my spirit, call this girl, pray for her, you know. And Every time, Jesus, there are a lot of things God is doing. Please, it's not me. It's you because you are backing me up in prayer. Me and you, we are joining our faith. Pray someone into their destiny because 
that destiny that you are praying for is tied to yours. Yes. God bless you all. Did you receive it today? Did you receive it? God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Tracy or Sister Valley Jealous Hope, can you people share the YouTube channel? I'm not saying. Can you share that YouTube channel? Hallelujah. People can subscribe. And when we are ready, whoever is interested in that joint prayer, please send me a message with your uh, with, your, with your telephone number so that whenever I'm ready to create it, I will let you know so that you will know you're going to be there for the prayers. Now, are you ready for prayer? Let's pray. Let's pray. All you need to say is say, Amen. Amen. Did you receive it? Let me hear somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Shout hallelujah. I want somebody to write. I want you to write this out. Father, put the helpers of my destiny in my path. Just tell God. Hallelujah. Tell God to put the helpers of your destiny in your path. Oh, star, star may God bless you for sharing the, this thing, the YouTube channel. Hallelujah. Now, are you ready to receive your prayers? Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's go together. Oh, Father, thank you for today. Father, in the in this seventh month of this year, separate us from every word of opposition in Jesus' name. All you need to do is say amen. Father, as I start praising you, let every op everything opposing me sink like the walls of Jericho. Father, I take authority over great doors that you have opened for me in the name of jesus father let every great door you have opened for me be effective to me and others around me father help me to keep my eye on the finish line father let whatever the enemy has sent set in motion listen Father, let whatever the enemy has set in motion because of my assignment be diffused and confused in Jesus' name. Father, put my destiny helpers in my path just like you sent Jonathan to David in Jesus' name. Father, send the angels that are assigned to my destiny. May our may your destiny help us locate you this hour, this month, this year in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. The Bible says, My sons and daughters shall prophesy. I prophesy upon you this week that what have become an impediment in your life will be broken just as the walls of Jericho in the name of Jesus. You that have that paper, that letter, you that have that problem that the enemy want to use to swallow you, may somebody to help you, may the helper of that case, may the helper of that destiny, may that person locate you this week in the name of Jesus. May every tongue that rise up against you in judgment may you condemn in the mighty name of jesus most of all may the race that you are going to run this week that you are going to run this month that you are going to run this year may you finish it in the mighty name of jesus i thank you for testimonies that are going to come i thank you father put the spirit of boldness upon those people that when the when time come for them to testify they will not be shy for those that have shared for those that have watched father now god as they share share them their blessing in the name of jesus as they watch father watch over them in the name of jesus in jesus name i pray amen and amen and amen god bless you all God bless you all. God bless you all. I'm going to I'm going to uh, share a link later on my Facebook. The song is so powerful. It said take the stage. Take this stage, Lord. 
the Lord, tell the Lord to come and take over your life. And have your way. I'm just a vessel. Nothing more. When you're done. Please take the glory. I'm satisfied. Just to see you glorified. That should be your song for this week, for this month. And don't forget, this is your month of praise. Praise at the words of Jericho's in your life. Every words of Jericho, start praising them at. I praise her the words of depression. I praise her the words of uh, 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 bad news. I praise her the words of court cases. I praise her the words of singleness. I praise her the words of unfruitfulness. I praise her, praise them out. Praise them out. That is why God has given you the, uh, the uh, book of Joshua 6. Go there. Start reading it so that you can understand how to praise them out. God bless you. And I see some heart of love if you receive it today. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. I love you all. Please don't stop praying for me. Don't stop praying for me. You know, sometimes when you are doing the work of God, that's when sometimes things rise up and you are like, how do I go about this? Uh, you know, but as a child of God, our focus is on the finish line. I love you all and God bless you. Don't forget to share to your members. You can also do a watch party. Hallelujah. So that people will come up and see it also. I love you. God bless you all. Bye.